Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's competitive Nightfall playlist in Guardian Games. This is a top 10% uh, score, which I will show you at the end of, of this. I'm doing it on the Warlock. Pretty much the same kind of setup I'd done it for the, the practice one or the, the training playlist. Uh, slightly higher score. All weapons and perks, mods, all the rest of it will be, sh will be shown at the start here. And, uh, yeah, I feel like today uh, might be a good time to get the score. I'm unsure whether people are going to be going for the cheeses to try and get the high score, since Bungie said they're not going to include those high scores. So, as you can see there, 264,000 is a top 10% score. I just wanted to show that so that you guys know. So, we are going to be utilising the same kind of thing, uh, trying to stack... Uh, as many of the, the the medals as possible and as you guys will know uh, finishing elite yellow bar enemies emote them first then finish them gets you three medals per kill now what I noticed and when I'd done the last one I think I think I was saying when I'd done the training one I think I think in the training one I said that uh, certain enemies don't count they do. I think what's happened, I'm not sure if it's intentional or whatever, but if you get too many of these medals too quickly, it, it doesn't actually grant you the medals. That's what it seems like, because some of the enemies that weren't giving me those high scores before, they were giving me them in this run. So, like I said before, I'm just body shot and just trying to, you know, you can see I've got gold weapon empowerment, which basically, once you've got times five of that, it'll one hit a champion with a crit. So what I try and do with the unstoppables or the barriers, depending on more so the unstoppables, is I'll I'll stop them with a hand cannon, and then I'll put a big heavy shot on them, then I'll I'll, I'll start l laying into them with the uh, with the hand cannon. Which, and if you guys have done this or if you if you guys have tried it, whatever, you'll know that sometimes the overloads, uh, they you take a massive amount of the, the health off them with the with the whatever heavy you're using I'm using obviously the threaded needle and then they'll regenerate some of it because it, the game even though it's and it seems like what it is it seems like that because you're getting that damage buff the game is saying oh you, you've done too much damage there and it's recorrecting it it's taking all that that extra damage off now as you'll see here 5700 I got all, the, and, and it wasn't giving me that for them all last time. Now, I've already kind of, maybe not messed up, but, yeah, kind of messed up. With, with, not messed up, mm, yeah, maybe I did. And you'll see here again, sorry, just, just to point it out. I got finishing touch, but I didn't get insult to injury. So I'm not quite sure why it does that. Uh, I, f I kind of messed up with the barrier, uh, my, my damage killed the barrier, so we already dropped a couple of thousand, but I think I think this is five and a half thousand higher than my training. Uh, the insult to injury, obviously, if you get that, that's pretty good. So, in the first area, it's about chaining your, you know, your damage. It is that all the way through, but if you do everything roughly the way I'm doing it, but if you, if you just get into a routine of doing like this, you clear this area really quickly. I mean, we're, we're three minutes in. I need to I need to do the damage on this uh, unstoppable, which just seemed to me still Guardian Games is still a little bit dodgy. Now you see that's exactly what I was talking about. I done big damage in the game. I think is like you shouldn't be doing that much damage with one shot, and and it's given the health back to the unstoppable. If you can. Do one big shot and then switch to your unstoppable hand cannon. I've noticed it's, it happens less. The unstoppable doesn't regenerate its health so quickly. What? Well, it obviously it won't work with uh, anti barrier or whatever. But maybe the unstoppable just the game's like, oh yeah, you're hitting me with the right weapon. It's felt really. Guardian Games has felt pretty buggy to me. But uh, exact same thing. I mean, this is almost a carbon copy of the way I run it every time and the only thing that changes is the game sometimes and maybe I could take maybe I could take a little bit of operator error responsibility for that maybe I'm emoting too quickly 
not allowing the emote chance to actually start. Maybe that's why I'm not getting that insult to injury medal. But the only thing that changes doing these runs is the score up and down by about 5,000. 5, now, I think in my training run, I think I've got 82,000 at this point. But I think I actually come out of here uh, with uh, with ha more score. And, and another thing that, that I definitely think changed is after the tank room. I think I scored more points after the tank room from doing a specific specific thing if I can even talk here specific thing right at the left so but we'll talk about that when we get there so what happens when you go into the tank room same same every time if you kill one of these enemies you bring out the next wave of enemies so what I try to do is to get closer to the the tank hangar doors before I actually kill an enemy so you see I'm moving down right that's the kill so I'll charge a grenade and I'll throw it at this tank door, turn round, super, and then I always try and kill, like, kill one of the snipers so that I'm not hampered and getting back up. Now you can see I've took an interceptor pilot out, and which is the those guys there. Now, you always get a couple of Ark or Solar guys in here, right? Sometimes you're unlucky, you get some of them, some of both of them. There's a, one of the interceptor pilots. What I try to do, you see there we've got the arc guy, what I'm going to try and do is get his health down to, like, just, I want him finishable. And then I'm just going to leave him. So I, I, I could see his health going there, so I decided to leave him. There he is, he's finishable. Now he's cool, I don't have to worry about him anymore. I can clear the other enemies around. I come back up here and I use these, these this... You've got right and left here, these kind of blast barri barriers. I'm just stopping this barrier so that I can get rid of the guy now if I want. So I get rid I get rid of the unstoppable, uh, the, the barrier. Not kill him, just get rid of him as an attacking element by breaking his shield. As you can see, I've got the, the fragment on where I go invis every time I finish an enemy. It helps you get down and do your damage. You can actually chain, you'll see me do it later on the run. I'll chain finishers because of the invisibility. I can get closer to these enemies because I'm invis. You know, every time, it seems like at different periods, and I'm, I'm unsure whether it's uh, linked to ads or if it's linked to the, the heavy duty guys, but uh, every now and again, you'll get a wave of dogs. Normally, max I've seen getting is two, two waves of dogs per, per cycle. So now I'm going to take this uh, barrier out, and again, be careful, once I get him to this kind of level, I don't bother with with the uh, heavy, I use my melee to get him to that point, if I need to, and he always tries to run, there we go, giant slayer, finishing touches, insult to injury, and then I'm going to drop a grenade, and it was severely unfortunate that that one of the, the heavy duty ads just came out jumped right in front of my Nova, or my Nova would have killed, killed that, uh, killed the ad, the, 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 not killed, it would have done a ton of damage, sorry, to the tank. So, what I'm kind of doing is, I'm trying not to waste time by running, it's, it's wasting time running all the way back up to the top, yeah, because we took the tank out, we get the second small wave of ads. Just take him out there, and now, all the ads, once you take the tanks out, all the ads will just come down to to where, uh, to the bottom section here. So we just need one more crit on the right. There we go. That's both tanks down. I tried not to waste time by, by doing all that and then running back up here the way I normally do. I just thought, right, well, okay, we'll use the blast, those blast walls on that side, on, on the left-hand side. And, and if I need to, I'll keep throwing grenades. I'm in a good place to crit. The, the four kind of wheel guards on the tank. So now we've got a solar guy. Now, I can't remember because I... This was... I think this was my second run of this. And I got a good score on the first. But as you see there... You know, I was so... Really, 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 really lucky with... Uh, with that. So, with that guy. So, I thought actually Grenade was going to take him. And, and I'm, I'll keep saying it, but you guys can see it for yourself. Getting the finisher and getting the getting the finisher and the insult to injury, it's just points galore. It's, now, 
spoke about this a little bit on Twitter, and I've said this before in my runs. If you, if you go on Twitter and you don't follow me, I don't know why. <laughs> I do, obviously. But <laughs> uh, I hate it when people say, if you're not following me, why? I thought I would try it and didn't like the sound of it. Uh, you, but you should follow me. And I, I was speaking uh, to a Bontus about it on Twitter, where this is one of these nightfalls uh, that is actually probably... Now, I think a lot of them have been. Last week's Nightfall, I just... I don't like Lightblade. Not biggest fan of this week's Nightfall either. Simply because... Uh, it, they feel different to the other Nightfalls. And I don't know why that is. But they don't feel like the damage is the same incoming and outcoming. And from a GM standpoint, just to get this out... I've done an Invis Hunter run. I don't want to be like, yeah, I've completed all the Nightfalls because I completed three of them because the ads couldn't see me. It's, you know, I know it's acceptable, in, but it's it's boring. So, not interested in that. One, once a season is enough for me, I think. Uh, that these are, these are better doing solo because it just seems like people don't, haven't worked out that it's medals, not speed. And you've got people just jumping in, firing rockets everywhere and obelisk shots taking out the bar the, the the barriers before you can do anything but this uh, this one actually does work well as a solo now just I'm, I'm obviously you guys can see what i'm doing here you know what i'm doing i'm trying to get the ads low you see I've, I've got the emote already going i've got the finisher but the whole point of it is there are points where you need to go quickly and then there are points where you need to slow it down. And I think when... So in the tank room... Now, I was... Sorry, just to interject on my own commentary. That I was told by somebody you don't get uh, any points for the Honoured Scions. You do get points for the Honoured Scions. You see there, I got 5,000 points from that one. But yeah, so in these areas where there's a lot of built-up ads, right? There's no red bars. You just need to, you just need to nuke these ads, right? There are points, so just before you get to the lift, and I'll point it out when we get there, you can slow down a little bit there. At the start, you can slow down a little bit there, and you can finish a lot of the yellow bars. Whereas when you're in the tank room, there's too much going on to really be trying to finish all the yellow bars, unless you're an invis hunter. But if you're if you're not an invis hunter, then sometimes you just got to take it that you've just got to kill the ads. Can't finish everything. So take advantage when you've got the time and the space to get the finishers. And the main place is to, to, to maybe extremely finish is the first section. When you first load in, after you kill the unstoppable and then making your way up, you've got the barrier. Then you've got that void shielded incendiary guy just before the mini boss from that area comes out. There's a bunch of yellow bars. You can just get them all low, get a finish on one, make sure you invis, go and get the next one and just chain your invis. And then the next place where you, where it's kind of efficient to do it is just before the lift. These sections, it's not. Because there's so many ads here. It's, you know, there are a couple of... You know, you want to finish this in all the champions. Now, these guys, you'll see here, there's another, just another normal uh, honoured scion that seems to run faster backwards than I do forwards. And I've got 5,000 from them. Why did I get 5,000 instead of the 6,500 that I got from the other one? Why? Because Guardian Games are a little bit busted. So, it's <laughs> got nothing to do with... Oh, no, you don't score points from those guys. Because you'll see here oh, that Optimus Valker, he is an elite enemy. So, I emoted. Now, I think the reason I, I didn't get the insult to injury is because I didn't emote like he was around the corner. But I emoted and then finished them, and never got the the finisher, so the, the 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 emote uh, medal. I'm, I I don't even know why. I'm just I'm actually as I'm as I'm commentating this, I'm like, is that did I do something wrong there? And I don't think I did. I just think I think I'm. I was under the impression that Guardian Games, when they was like when they put out that thing saying that, you know. They won't kind of count super high scores. That I'm wondering if they've done anything and it's caused this to happen. But I don't think they have. I just think Guardian Games has been really buggy. 
Uh, so yeah, when, once we've dunked this orb, you can see we're at 215,000. Once we dunk this orb, we're going to make us... Because right, he this is something to base, base your run on. Time-based. If you can get up to the boss room in 14 minutes, you are doing really... You know, you, you'll know, you get a decent score. Really good score. We haven't. We're going to get up there in about 15, 15 and a half. So we need to get the score here. And this is a place right now... See how I'm just like trying to get them low? I'm not, you know, I'm not finishing anything that's not a, a red bar. I'm not killing anything that's not a red bar, so we'll just stop this incendiary. One shot, and you'll get all his health back. Super annoying. Uh, and I, I'll, I'll keep shooting at me, get him to keep coming at me, because I want him close to me so that I can utilize the inv invis. So, there we go. We've got him finishable. Emote. Finisher, we get all the good stuff. So he's come out. We're, we're going to get him finishable. Emo, finisher. Utilize the invis. There's another guy. Emo, finisher. See, I'm just chaining these and I'm getting five and a half thousand per ad. Emo, finisher. And I never got it there. Because I think it's not giving me that... That, uh... So that uh, medal, if I do too many in a row. So we'll just kill him, emo, finish. And are we going to get it here? No. And I did emo and finished. So maybe maybe there's a cap on how many times you can do that in a set amount of time. But 243,000. We've got, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got about 15, 16 minutes. So we've got about four minutes Probably be about three and a half by the time we get up there to score points. Now, in my mind, I had it 250 and above would probably be a top 10 score, right? And kind of the way that I do this, we do waste a little bit of time, but it's it's about being safe rather than being fast. I don't like the whole speed run, take chances, and I certainly cannot stand speed run, take chances, but let's tell everybody it's an easy run and everybody can do it. You know, so anyway, come in. We activate that small tip. Most of you all know this already. You get your full super once you you activate uh, the start of this. So if you don't have a super, it will give you your full super. The other thing is, he fires those kind of solar bombs at you. It's his thing. Your your super will be attracted to them. So make sure you're not firing your super at them when they are coming. There might still be ads, one one or two ads floating about. You get three ads in between each damage section uh, at the start normally of each damage section, so we know that there's one guy left. So <clears throat> I'm just kind of juking him here, just slowly, not 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 so progressively, this isn't trials. Uh, so I'm, I'm just kind, kind of like lightly strafing because his shots are really kind of easy to avoid most of the time and there he goes that is him going into as i've affectionately named it the cocoon phase where he is now immune when he goes immune we will get uh an uh unstoppable and we will get uh a gladiator so invis pick up my heavy i can't do anything because where we can kill the, the gladiator maybe but I can't do anything here now <clears throat> in previous runs I've chanced it I used the invis to go and break the shield and all the rest of it I don't know what it is but if those bombs if a couple of them hit you it's over and I've got I've got quite good solar resist on so I decided to see for, for the safety aspect uh, how detrimental to the run it would be if I just let him run out of his bombs. The way you would for something like a Grandmaster or whatever. Because I don't want this to not be as safe as you can. You know, it's, it's these sorts of runs are never going to be... You cannot die doing this, you know. So I would rather it be, this is about as safe as you can get. And I would let him run out of his bombs. Now you see the floor to our right lighting up. When that lights up... He's thrown these solar, the solar guys. Plus, through his shield, you can't shoot through it, but he can. And he'll shoot those void, big void energy blasts. 
and avoid damage is increased by 50%. So even though this is 1550 activity culpable to a legend nightfall, that will still do a bit. And if you're not standing directly in the middle when this floor lights up, you will burn. Now, because it's a, basically a legend nightfall, after uh, after 20 minutes you start losing points. Now, you can still gain points, you just gain them at 50% their original value. So, we've still got another champion, we've still got another wave of ads, we've still got the boss to kill. We've still got points to get, so... When you get in here, I think I said this before, use this pillar to kind of move the boss. Three shots will do it, and there we go. So, three shots on, on, on the center of his energy bubble breaks it, and then whatever side you go to, drop a grenade and try and catch the three adds that spawn in. You won't always get all three of them. Uh, sometimes you'll only get two, sometimes you won't get any. Hopefully you want to get at least one. And then now, second phase, the boss is going to jump around. He's not going to be static. Luckily, he just stood there and said, what have you got? And I said, I've got this. You know, catch. There is an ad. I can see the ad just down to the right. No, he's moved down here. I've got him in prime position. He won't move now. What happens is, he, you juke him around the map. I'll just toss a grenade. And he'll find a place. If As long as he, he, he feels like he can get shots on you. This second phase, he won't constantly move. He'll settle on a position. And there we go. We got him to settle by drawing him all the way around to the left and then coming underneath. He had a bead on us. And, and, and now he, he'll stay there. So what I'm going to do here, he's going to go into his cocoon again. The unstoppable always comes from the right. So we'll stop him. And then what I'm going to do is... He, and it was unfortunate that I lost points there. By, uh, by putting the second... I shouldn't have fired the second heavy shot. But it's still all good. Now what we've got to do is... We've got this guy out here. I want to kill him. So we'll just put a grenade on him. That should do the, bit, the, the trick. The boss is above us and we're back in the same scenario. Right? Where the boss is firing his solar bombs. Now what I'm going to end up doing here is... I kind of worked out... After a bit, I'm just looking to see if there's any heavy. I, I I worked out after a bit that I would probably be... There, there's the other ad there. We'll just put that on. There we go. That I would probably be better trying to break the shield when he's firing his bombs. Because he... If I jump up and just find out where he is... He's, he's already put his solar bombs out. I've got to be... I've got to time it right. So jump up and see where he is. Now he went up into the sky through his bombs. He can't do anything to me. Because he's incapacitated. So we jump back up. He goes up. I can get two breaks and then back underneath. If you wait till he fires his bombs. Now you, you might be like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. But the timing's great. As you would have seen. He can't do anything to me. He can't slam. I'm just going to fire my Nova. Now what I had in my mind there was. I, I knew he'd fired his, his solar attack. What I was thinking was, uh, the Nova would get to him fast enough that even if the bombs did explode it, he would still take a whole heap of damage from the explosion. Pick up some heavy here, and now we're just going to, you know, he done a teleport thing here, and listen, I've got to tell you, when, when this first came in as a GM, I had a real bad experience at that point, where uh, I was I come in with a team, and, and everybody died, and it was just me and the boss. And I was firing him from where I was standing. The boss was here. And then I didn't realize that the game had glitched. And I'm still on my screen. I'm still firing at him. And the boss had actually teleported, although it hadn't said it on my screen. And he was standing right next to me and just melted me. Uh, so whenever I see that happen, and I would suggest for you to do it as well. Whenever you see the boss just disappear, just take it that he's disappeared to appear right next to you. Just move. Just get out of there. And there we go, guys. <clears throat> Platinum tier. I even got a controversy, which weren't as good as the ones I've got. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, I've probably got one more video to come out this week, and it'll just be discussing the Nightfall. I'd done an LFG run on the last GM Nightfall that I needed uh, to get the Conqueror sale because I didn't want to run it solo. 
and that'll probably be what I use for the backdrop of talking about the nightfall. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps you with your run, guys. Take it easy, and I will see you in the next video.